well then. <laughs> we appear to be at an impasse. <laughs> Dang it. Hello everyone, my name is Fauna, and we are currently falling. Quite a long way. Kudro decided it would be a good idea to do this. 10 million blocks up. Ugh. For context, 1 million took... <laughs> I think he's trying to do the. <laughs> For context, one million blocks took me four hours. Thanks. Thanks for rescuing me. Appreciate it. I'm gonna sleep now. Thanks, sir. That sucked. It took you almost five hours to fall one million blocks. Uh huh. 50 hours of being logged in. Anyway, this is what he has made. This is what he's working on. I think it's almost finished. It is the trading hall, the communal trading hall that Kojiro has built for us. So we've got pretty much, I think, every book that you could possibly want, a villager who sells it. And then what you just need to do, if you want a lot of them, is you just press this lever, click the lever, a zombie will zombify him, and then you can cure him and get cheap, cheap books. There's an auto brewer here for, oops, for weakness potions. And golden apples, which you can see I've already created a lot of. But yeah, there's a couple of things to address. First of all, you can see that I have a little map up here in the corner, which I can enlarge. This is the, um, I hope I pronounced this right, Zero's mini map mod. I'll put the name on the screen as well. I also have, I don't remember what it's called specifically, but this is a mod that allows me to see the health of things. So players and other mobs like villagers you can see i can see their health which is very very useful and another thing that i want to say is i have started live streaming on twitch if you go to twitch.tv slash vorna i don't have a strict schedule but i try to stream a few times a week i stream minecraft i will stream from herocraft i will also stream from vornacraft sometimes and i will try some hardcore occasionally but yeah i only started streaming um a time of recording, it was about less than two weeks ago, and I'm already affiliate thanks to the amazing community that I've found within Kojira's community and with my own friends and Richard Thornton's community. It's it's been amazing. Um I'm I love live streaming. It was a very uh spontaneous thing, but I'm so glad I started because now I am an affiliate and I'm having a lot of fun. So yeah, if you want to see me play Minecraft live, go to twitch.tv slash fauna and check me out. But now what we are going to do is we are going to see the arena, which I have finished. And it's been a while since I recorded, so I haven't actually, I never actually recorded any progress updates like I think I said I was going to, but that's okay. Because it is now finished. Let's... Slowly for the reveal. There we are. Look at that. I'm actually really, really proud of this. Like, really, really proud of this. I am not... I know some people would disagree with me, but I'm not a builder, I would say. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an improving builder. So this is always going to be tough for me, and it's not... Obviously, other people could probably have done it better, but... I, I'm really proud of how it turned out. So let's have a look around. So we've got the arena mascot, whose name is Saber, and you know, wants some donations. Has <laughs> salmon. You know what? Let's let's give let's give Saber some salmon because okay. Mm. Saber. Oh, you purring. You're so cute. I need you to get off the donation box, or I can't open it. <laughs> There's some donation of fish for Saber because she's a good girl. Um, let's just sleep quickly. Then down here we have got the concessions. You can take some merchandise, t-shirt to support your side, hot dogs, which is just cooked pork chop, but we had a lot of them, so. And then cookies! Lots of yummy cookies. And on the other side is pretty much the same, except you've got blue team merchandise. We've got fresh watermelon. 
and burgers, which again is just cooked pork chop. <laughs> then out here we get to the arena itself. So these are little spots where you can like hide and you know shoot like that. But little spots around here, just little walls. Then back here we have got <laughs> it's backstage. The only this is the only room I've actually done. That's why this is no entry. There's just kind of you know empty empty rooms because I couldn't really think of anything to put back here. But out here we have some armor stands. So we've got Z Doggy, designer and tester. Vorna, builder, designer, founder. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. We've got Tempsey, designer and tester. Got Double Mint Ben, super mod and arena patron. This is the only Double Mint Ben head I have. And I used it in here because, well, it was just sitting in my ender chest. And while it was lovely to have, at least here it's on display. Then we have Ninja, again, super mod, arena patron. That's also the only Ninja head I have. And then Kojiro, server owner, arena patron. Kojiro MC. So to the left and right we have the changing rooms. This is the red one and the blue one is pretty much the same, just blue themed instead of red. So you've got the bed to set your spawn and a chest. Please leave all equipment in these chests after use. You know, that kind of thing. Then if you go in here, you get given a sword, shield, infinity bow, arrow and armor. Although I've just realized food isn't really provided but yeah if you go in you know it'll give you some stuff you can see we've already been doing some testing <laughs> yeah and then on the other side it's just blue it's just the same but slightly reversed and blue and then out here on either side you can see there's one over there there is a staircase upwards so if you go all the way to the top you get to this place where you can see to the bridge out there i like flying around it's a nice open space. Well, not quite open. Ow. But, you know, it's a nice space. Anyway, you can come out here. And this is where the people sit to watch. There is a special VIP seat up here, which I fell off immediately. A special VIP seat up here. If you jump in, there you go. I was going to put a railing, but you can't really see over the railing. So, you know, it's just open. <laughs> well, you can see you have a nice view from up here. Then I added some armor stand spectators, because why not? So there's a little me cheering. I'm very cute. And there's a little wandering trader guy with some water. A polar bear guy cheering. A mini chalice. Chalice puma sway with some watermelon. And then my personal favorite with the little, the little villager and his son. It's so cute, his child. With a little water bottle and pointing like, look, son, look what's going on down there. I, I love that. It's so cute. And then the last one is the Elder Guardian guy who you can't really see easily from here. But hang on, let me see if I can. There you go. Yeah, you can see him leaning on the railing, looking down like, oh, come on, guys, let's fight. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what that guy would be thinking. But anyway, yeah, that is the arena. I'm really, really proud of it. I like how if you stand in the middle and then open up the map, you can see the whole thing. It's really cool. And we have already tested the arena. Me and Sea Doggy got together and gave the arena a little test properly with the, all the gear and everything. And here's how that went. You ready? Do we have to? <laughs> Do we have to fight? No. Okay. Let's go. Let's uh. Let's just go back into our dressing rooms and. Oh, yeah, the last okay. step, but... No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Get back here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> no. Come back here. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Turn around and shoot. <laughs> Turn around and shoot. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> Ow. That was the first time you hit me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that wasn't very nice of you. Ow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that, that's true. I mean, uh, it's not like we're in a, an arena where we're trying to kill each other. <laughs> 
Oh, that's true. I don't have axes, so the shields. Interesting. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> we appear to be at an impasse. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I hate the shield. <laughs> Maybe I should have grabbed an axe instead. <laughs> I hate you. Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How much food are you on, by the way? This is a test, so I can ask you this. Fourteen. Okay. Interesting. Ouch. <laughs> Oh wow, that did a lot. Really? That's weird. Ouch. Not nearly as much <laughs> as that. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Yikes. There's a block there. <laughs> well then, this is happening. <laughs> How much health are you on? <laughs> Two hearts. Oh! <laughs> Yes! Ooh, it left a waypoint. That's weird. There's your um, iron chest plate. Hell yeah! We did it! How much food do you have? 14. Oh yeah, I'm down to 9. So I guess it would probably be better if people had the same food. Maybe... Just maybe to be, do, just be um, more equal. Cooked kelp? Because you can eat it quickly and it doesn't restore as much. That's a good suggestion. See, doggy. <laughs> Excuse me. Did, what did you just do? What did you just do? Did you just? I, I thought you were gonna click the door behind me. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought you were gonna close the door behind me. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get you back. Oh well. Well, that was fun. Excuse Ouch. me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Are we doing this now? <laughs> If we're actually fighting, no wings. Or at least no flying away. <laughs> oh, so we're not actually fighting. I don't know if we are or not, because you're not telling me. You're running around in the stands. <laughs> it's the best vantage point. Actually, you should have seen how much damage I took just from falling. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should let me fly. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like I trying think dog to fights could be fun too. It's like trying to shoot at the Ender Dragon, except smaller. <laughs> also, I'd rather not fling arrows around up here, though, just in case it hits one of the armor stands and just breaks it. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that would that was a thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me now. We have to test this. Great. It dips on shooting the Vana. No, not one of those. You watching? Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> Dance come <perfectly> on. Still. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna come up there and get you. <laughs> Ow! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Vana. 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 A thing happened. Vana. Oh. A thing happened. <laughs> no.
No, 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 I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dang it. No, come back. I wanted oh. to kill you. Come back, I want to kill you. Um, yeah, no, thanks. I'm good. Are you though? No, but I mean... Oh, that was nearly got you. Give me my stuff back. Now I have to fix it. This is why I didn't want people... I hate you! I know. Ouch. Don't make me take it from you. Well, then stop hitting me and I'll give it to you. Well, great. I don't want to stop hitting you, though. It's making me feel better. Oh, come I'm on, sorry. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm coming right back. But you keep hitting me. And so I keep flying away so I don't Just die. keep deserving it. Oh. <laughs> it was funny. Was it? Mm -hmm. Sure. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. well, I'll bear that in mind. Sad puppy noises. That's one puppy I would gladly kick. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna dip out. So you guys, you guys have fun. Have a good night, Bonna. I'm gonna dip out. Bye. But now, what we are going to do for the first time on the server, or at least for me, is. We are going to fight a wither. <laughs> so I am just going to grab all of the things that I need and then we will be on our way. So Kojiro advised that I do it far down below in Deep Slate, he said. Um, I don't know if he meant just like dig a tunnel out of Deep Slate or in a Deep Slate cave. If a Deep Slate cave will do, but... Um, well, we're going to do it here, in a deep slate cave, because what could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. Am I ready for this? Probably not. But, uh, either we're going to do it or we're going to die trying. Either or. Oh, but one thing I did forget to do was make a little respawn place. Can I? Thank you. Alrighty. I'm just gonna protect this a little bit. Okay, this is gonna be my respawn place if I die, which hopefully I won't. But you never know. So let's uh let's give it a go. Come on, really? At least I could be able to see how much health the wither has left. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. I should have brought milk. I think I should have brought milk. It's got 300 health! Oh, good lord. Hi! 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 Maybe I should move away from my respawn area. Alright, come here. I'm not sure I like this. Oh, hello. Now you're on the ground. Oh, I should probably eat. Hello. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh -huh. die, please. It's on low health. It's on low health. It's on low health. Don't heal. Don't heal. Oh, yeah. And monsters hunted. That was the last monster I needed to kill, as you can see. Kill one of every hostile monster. The wither was the last one. What kind of head did I get? I got a wither's head. Hell yeah. And another star. And I didn't die. And it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But uh, better to be prepared probably because of these. Not going to lie. If I was wearing my normal boots. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have died. Oh boy. And actually, I'm alright that I didn't get any wither roses. Because, um... Where are they? Here. Because Kojiro has fought many withers. And he's given me 32 wither roses. So... I'm alright that that didn't happen, but yeah, we did it.
we've got another star and we've got two more advancements weathering withering heights and monsters hunted heck yeah we did it we fought the wither and we survived and that's a baby zombie sir i just killed a wither what makes you think you have a chance and now i have to get out of here somehow who knows where the exit is not me Out. 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 There it is. But last of all, there are two things I need to show you before I finish the episode. One of them is the shopping district. Which I don't think I've shown in a video yet. So this is Ebony's Copper Shop. This is Hempsey's Moss Shop. Ooh, Azalea leaves. Ooh. I might come back here to get some flowering azalea leaves because I love those. Then there's Sea Doggy's netherite shop, which is sold out at the moment. Because uh someone someone bought all the netherite. Dunno who could have done that. Um then Sea Doggy's mushroom shop. Sea Doggy's actually away at the moment at the time of recording this. So <laughs> handpicked never farmed. So yeah, we he hasn't been on the server in a while. Then there's Tempsey's bookshop and armor shop. Let's see he's got diamond leggings, diamond chest plate, diamond helmet, but these, these are pretty good. Protection 3, feather falling 4, and breaking 3 boots. For 2 diamonds each, that's not bad. And then other books, any 2 books for 1 diamond. Knockback, Depth Strider, all of that. And finally there's my 2 shops, my totem shop. Which, uh, hasn't sold much. And then there is my... Vaughna's Varieties. You can see Elytras. Because I mentioned earlier that I fought 64 dragons. Well, that left me with 64 Elytras. So I've decided to sell them. Again, nobody's bought any. And then Saddles from my raid farm, which I will also show you in a second. No one's bought any Saddles. Alright, fair enough. Records. Anyone's bought any records? Nope. No one's bought any records. Oh, that's sad. No one's bought anything from Vaughn's Varieties. That's okay. And finally, there is this. The Raid Farm. I say farm, but it's not exactly what most people would consider a farm. It's just an easy place to do raids, because I really like doing raids. You can see out here there is a pillager outpost, just over there. So you can easily get Bad Omen. Should probably light up the area. Then, if you go back in here... There's a spot for storing things, so heads, banners, emeralds, witch drops, and potions. So you've got, you know, all these heads, banners, emeralds, witch drops, and potions. Then saddles. That's a lot of saddles. And totems. That's also a lot of totems. I wish people would buy them more. But uh, this is the up to the raid farm. I like to call it a farm just because then it sounds more official. Here we are out here. Someone left a shelter box up there. It's probably Kate. Kate has been Kate is one of our newer um server mates and she has been doing a lot of raids. Wow. Okay, who Hmm. Alright then. Um But yeah, this is this is where you know, I know the villager is, my leather worker guy. He's asleep. Then you go up here, stand on top of here, and it's exactly the right width and height and stuff like that so that they will spawn up here instead of down on the ground where they could spawn in caves and all that weird stuff and annoying stuff. So yeah, this is just an easier way to do raids, and I'm going to sleep. But yeah, Kate has been doing a lot of raids. She's asked for my help a few times. So I think she stands up here to shoot the evokers better, potentially? Not sure. But yeah, this is the raid farm. I've been using it quite a lot, as you can tell by the amount of totems I have. Not only two and a half full double chests, but also four barrels full, almost four barrels full, at my shop. Maybe I should just start using them. But anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Check me out at twitch.tv slash Vorna if you would like to see me live stream from here, live stream Vornacraft, Hardcore, all sorts of cool things. But anyway, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.
So if it looks different, I apologize. Excuse me, I'm trying to do my outro. Goodness me.